In this exercise, we will add the existing rose garden to the backyard using the rectangular and the polar array command. You can see this on the screen now. Other useful commands will include the offset, mirror, rotate, and move commands. The rose garden has two sections, 10 roses each, with a 2-foot, 9-inch walkway between them. Railroad ties with the 7-inch plan width surround the two sections. I'm going to begin with the uh, existing hardscape design that we created previously. And I'm going to draw my rose garden outside of my site area and then I will move it back in. Uh, the roses have about a two foot, two and a half foot diameter, so I'll use my circle command to draw a, a, a reference circle here with a diameter of 2 feet 6 inches. I can do a, a zoom object, Z enter, O enter, to zoom in on that circle. And then I'll use my line command to create one of the branches of my rose bush here. And the shape here is really up to you. You can customize it to make it your own, which is always a good idea. Uh, with that, I'll <coughs> go into my polar array command, and I can select it from the panel or I can type it in. I'll select my objects, being the bush, and my center point. For the number of items, I can experiment with that, but five looks pretty good to me. I'll go ahead and close that array out. Um, and now with this one array done, uh, I'll zoom out a little bit, and I'll use a rectangular array a rectangular array to make two columns and five rows with four foot spacing between the columns and three foot spacing between the rows. So columns two, rows five, gives me a total of ten roses. I want uh, four feet between the columns. I want three feet between the rows. That looks pretty good. I'll accept that. I can delete the reference circle. And now I'll create a uh, rectangular uh, border using my railroad ties. And I'm going to start in tight here. It's my it uh, has a 7 inch plan width. So using the offset command with the distance of 7. I can offset those railroad ties to create that boundary. And then I can use the mirror command with a mirror line that's 1 foot 3 inches offset. I can type in mirror or go to the modify panel. I'll begin by selecting all of my objects. For the mirror line, if I have object snap and object snap tracking on, I can just move over and track that over one foot uh, three inch. I want to make sure that it's still active when I hit enter, the tracking path. I'll hit enter and then I'll bring that point straight down uh, and you can do that with the ortho or your uh, polar tracking turned on. I'll lock on right there. Click and I will keep the source object looks very good. Uh, before I move it, I want to rotate it the same, to be the same angle as the top portion of my brick pathway here. And if I select that line and then right click and go to properties, I can check the angle, which is 344. I'll come back to my 
rose garden, I'll use the rotate command either from the command line or by typing it in. Select all my objects. I'll choose a base point on the top left here. And for the angle, I'll type in 344. Now I'll use my move command. I'll just select everything. Uh, base point in the top. And I can kind of zoom transparently back and place it here. I'll go ahead and turn my O snaps off so that I can locate that where I need to. I'll turn off polar tracking as well. And there's my rose garden.